The following Showtime Entertainment Special deals with mature subject matter and contains some strong language. Parental guidance is advised. And welcome. We're uh, we're Monteith and Rand. I'm John Monteith. And I'm Suzanne Rand. And we'd like to welcome you to our our first television show. Mm -hmm. And what a place for a television show. This is the Ed Sullivan Theater, for those who, who didn't show up and are watching on television. But for those who are here, this is where the Ed Sullivan Show used to take place. This is the home of variety, the home of television. Uh, that's where Ed used to stand, right there. It's just incredible to us. It's mind-boggling. This is where showbiz really got its start on television here. This is where the Beatles made their first appearance. Elvis Presley. Yeah, we like him too. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, we're not, uh, not going to be doing uh, music. We're going to be trying to carry on the variety tradition. We don't have any animal acts or music acts, but what we are going to do this evening, in, in an attempt to keep kind of the theater alive and, and life going on, we're going to be doing some... Money? What? Excuse me, please. Muddy, you just said something that, that really made me take pause. Take pause? Yes. Look, Suze, if you're ripping the feet off of little animals here... Oh, no, 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 that's, I would never do that. I love animals. No, that's not what I meant. Yeah. No, Muddy, you said we're not going to do any music, just our Broadway show. Well, yeah, we're just, that's basically Marty, what this is. It's going to be Marty, a tele... Muddy, these good people worked hard all day, and I really think we should just throw out our material and... Sing for the people. Sing? Yes. Well, I don't think they work that hard, really. Oh, no, Monty, please, please, no, Monty. Just, Monty, people... trust me, Monty. 
I am picking up on the vibe of this room, and it is definitely a music vibe. It is. No, it's not. It is. No, I don't believe Marty, it. it Marty, really... if Lionel Hampton were here, he'd tell you the same thing. He would. Well, Lionel Hampton is a musician. So? Well, if he's prejudiced in favor of music. Not lie. No, really. If, if uh, Phil Esposito were here, he'd say there's hockey vibes in the room. No. Yeah. No, really, I think... I think Please, Monty, you know, I... The show, we've got, work, we've got it worked out. It, it should be Fine, okay. Fine, finally, just introduce the show. I mean, it's late now. Monty, just sh- introduce it. Go on. Okay. That's what I was doing. I, okay, okay. So what we're going to be doing this evening I in... I think uh, we were a team. We are. Oh, we're, good. We're, I just wanted to make sure. Fine. Do <laughs> What we're going to be doing this evening uh, will be some, some things that we've prepared and rehearsed, uh, some things, some sketches. We'll also be doing improvisations, which are sketches which we haven't prepared and which will be based on your suggestions. So when we ask you for suggestions, please feel totally relaxed. Call out you whatever pops into your mind. Made me love you. I didn't so, want to do it. I didn't want to do it. You so. are getting pissed, aren't you? Well, uh, you know, a little bit about that much. Well, what is it, Monty? Well, you're leaving me out of this. What, what? I, 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 you know, I don't do gigs and licks. I'm, oh, I'm well, just you're not telling music. me you don't know any songs. Well, yeah, I, I don't know songs. Monty, no this... problem. No problem. You know our jokes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do know our jokes for those who are wondering what I'm doing here. Well, then, Monty, Monty, let's sing our jokes for the folks. Sing our jokes? Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid to tell half of our jokes. Oh, Monty, come on, come on. You know, we, we could scat a few jokes for them, you know? Scat, scat, uh, scat jokes? Uh-huh. Hey. No. Oh, please. No, really, it's not. Please, uh, Monty, no, really, it's not. would y'all like to hear us sing a joke or two? Would you? Did I tell you? Did I tell you? Monty, Monty, there is music in their blood. There's music in mine. Get it in yours, Okay. What the heck? Oh, good. Okay. I, I knew he'd come around. You know, that's what you want. I'm not going to bring everybody down. Um, Thanks. <laughs> in that case, Suzanne is now going to sing a joke for you. Monty, it's Monteith and Rand comedy team. Well, yeah, at comedy, we're a team. When it comes to singing, it's every person for herself. <laughs> oh. Well, I'd love to sing a joke for y'all, I would. Okay, so without any further ado, the beginning of our really big shoe here, <laughs> Suzanne Rand and her joke. Marty, what joke should I sing? Why did the baby cross the road? Because it was stapled to the chicken. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, I was supposed to sing that one. Wasn't yeah, I, I thought that would be a good jo- well, joke. Marty, to I sing. spaced out. I told him the punchline. That's okay. No. No, Suzanne will now do the baby joke. Marty, Marty, I cannot sing the baby joke now. They all know the punchline. Well, they all know the punchline. Do you'll never walk alone. People sing that all the time. <laughs> no, no, somehow that's a little different, Mont. It's not as good a punchline, but, but it's... Well, no, still. Give me another joke, please. Don't tell the ending. Oh, no. The one about the woman who walks into a hardware store... To buy a hinge? Yeah. Marty, that, that's really risque. Well, it's TV. They'll blip it. You think? Yeah, they won't even. They won't even get on the air. Okay, well, you'll hear it. I'll get bleeped. Okay, okay that's okay. fine. Okay. Good. So, um, do you want me to introduce it? Like it's a whole. Uh, yes, you know, introduce whole me. Thing? Give me the works. Okay. Okay. okay good. Okay. 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 Don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. Hold it down. Hold it down. <laughs> Cause do we have a treat for you, Suzanne Rand, scat jokes. So now we want everybody to just kind of. You know, lay down and get back and, uh, uh, get down and, uh, lay back and, uh, and prepare for a musical moment. Let's make a few really warm and welcome, shall we? Suzanne Rand, scat jokester, Suzanne Rand. Hey. Hey. I love y'all, I really do. You know, I would like to now, if I might. I'd like to sing my favorite joke for you, and, and I hope it'll soon become yours. Ooh, hey, hey, and uh, like if anybody here happens to know this joke, feel free to sing along, okay? It goes a little something like this. A woman asked a clerk in a hardware store if she could purchase a hinge. 
He gave it to her. Then he asked, do you want a screw for your hinge? She said, no, I don't want a screw for my hinge, but I'll blow you for the toaster in the corner. <laughs> Okay, I just froze Suzanne in kind of a bizarre position. We're going to do an improvisation now, and for this we'd like you to do what I just did. Yell the word freeze, but not yet. We'll begin by pantomiming a couple of activities, and when you see us in an interesting position, anyone can shout freeze. We'll freeze and begin a scene based on those frozen positions. You can let the scene go on for a moment or two. Someone can shout freeze again. We'll freeze and begin a new scene. Someone can shout freeze again and we'll begin a new scene and this will go on and on until we're all bored out of our minds with it or until the lights go out and the scene will be over and you won't have to shout freeze for the rest of the evening. Before I go any further though, what does it look like Suzanne is doing? Karate. 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 Okay, karate. Okay. I need something now that I could be doing that doesn't have to have anything to do with uh, karate or, or with what Suzanne's doing. It could be totally separate. Skating. Okay, I will be skating. And I will be doing karate, and you all will be freezing. Okay. <laughs> 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 Honey, this is the smallest Mark Eden I have ever seen. <laughs> the smallest truss I've ever seen, honey. Oh, maybe you're wearing my Mark Eaton and oh, this is it? your yeah. truss. Oh, no wonder. Oh, much better. I wish I wouldn't put him in... Okay, now you be the monkey. <laughs> Lady of Spain, I... Right from the first time I saw you. When you said we were going to get into show business, um, I kind of expected more. Take your hat off and get some coins. <laughs> Is this the way to the Quasimodo audition? <laughs> yeah, I got your hump here. <laughs> hey. Hey. Bartender? Hi. Look, I'd like a double vodka gimlet, please, on the rocks. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Just keep a tab, okay? It's <laughs> great, thanks. Is this seat taken? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> it's a beautiful day outside, isn't it? Sun shining. I, uh, I said it's a, uh, it's a beautiful day. Have you been out yet? <laughs> Ma'am? Excuse me. Excuse me, uh, do you have a, uh, a cigarette I could borrow, please? I don't smoke. I'm impressed. Uh, smoke enders or natural? <laughs> I, uh... 
I like a nice, quiet place. Don't you? You know, kind of nice and quiet, laid back. The kind of place where nobody bothers you. I'll bet that's the kind of place you thought this was. <laughs> you know, I, I detect from our conversation, uh, I get this feeling you don't really want to be talking to me. It, it's nothing you're saying. It's just this feeling I get. Uh, if you don't want to talk to me, that's okay. You know, don't feel obligated. Uh, doesn't hurt my feelings. Thousands of people won't talk to me. Lots of people, uh, lots of people get real uptight once they find out you're gay. You're gay? Yeah, and if it makes you nervous, wait, I understand. Wait, wait, you're, you're really gay. I'm incredibly gay. <laughs> oh, well, then I'm not uptight. No, I don't oh, no, understand. No, no, I'm, I'm relieved, I'm... really. Relieved? Uh, well, I thought you were trying to pick me up. Me? Well, now, now the bar is totally empty, you know, and you chose that chair to sit in, and, and I am by myself, you know, and this is the east side. You thought I was some kind of straight macho pig. I did, I did, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. No, really. Do I look like that? No, no, you look fine, you do, really. No, it, it was just my paranoia coming out, it was. Oh, well, look, look, I'm not going to bother you. I mean, I'm, I'm going to leave. Oh, I'm no, going to get up no, and leave. no, stay, please, stay, it's fine now, it is. Really? Really, please. Okay. Oh, thank you. For you. Oh, thank you. Oh, boy. You're welcome. Talk about misunderstandings. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I am, really. Well, no. it's, it's okay. Oh, no, thank it's... you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, give me a, uh, give me a screwdriver, please. Yeah, hey, uh, hold the orange juice. <laughs> Anita Bryant. I understand. <laughs> Look, I... I I'm really chagrined about what just happened. Oh, don't be. No, I am. No, no don't it be is the big chagrin for me. It really Anything is. Anything but chagrin. No, it's all really. Right. No, really. it's just that I'm not a rude person by nature. Oh, no, you know? I'm sure. I'm sure no, you're really. a very nice person. Look, yeah. look, my name is Amanda. Buck. Buck? Buck. Buck. Nice to meet you, Amanda. Well, it's a pleasure <laughs> to meet you, Buck. You got a good firm handshake there. Oh, well, thank you. So do you, surprisingly enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, uh. I work out. Oh, that's good. I think everybody should. It's important. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Well, Buck. Amanda. Cheers. Cheers. To a pleasant conversation. To a pleasant conversation. <laughs> so you're gay, huh? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gay. Ah. <laughs> I've been gay all my life. Your whole life? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, Buck, you, you never had one moment's worth of indecision? Oh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm very decisive that way. I knew straight away I was gay. Wow. <laughs> wow, you were really lucky. Lucky? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you mean, lucky? Well, I, I mean lucky that you knew, you know? You, you didn't have to go through all the trauma and the indecision. You knew. I, I think it's terrific. You know, you're right. I am lucky that <laughs> way. I, uh, but, I, but I'm not lucky being gay. You know, there's nothing lucky about it. It's, it's a tough life. Oh, well, I'm not saying it's easy. I well, no, no. way no. to judge if it's easy no, or not. Right, really, that's but... what I mean. You don't know the persecution that I go through every day. Yes, uh, but I do being... know the persecution that your community has to go through. Well, right, but, but you don't know how all-pervasive no, that but, is. But I am you know, fully uh... cognizant of it, I am, really. It's a heinous crime against your society, yeah, really, yeah. it is. And you know, you know, Amanda, it's not only rednecks. Oh, it's, don't uh, I know like that, a... really? Well, no, no, you I don't. Do. Buck, you I don't. do. Buck, I read Newsweek, you know. Oh, then you know about the persecution. I do. I well, do. even uh, even Newsweek couldn't tell it all, Amanda. I mean, there are things they missed, too. You're telling me there's something worse than persecution? Oh, much, much worse. Buck, what, what possibly could be worse than being persecuted? You know how men are. Do I ever. Well, it's men, Amanda. I really should have known that, Buck, you know? I mean, they hand you such a line. Oh, don't they? Don't they, huh? Oh, the yeah. biggest, oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but like suckers, we always fall for it, huh? Well, they promise us the moon. Oh, Venus, now that they've seen it. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Will we ever get to see it? Oh, oh no, no, not, not us. Not not it's out with the garbage with really, us. Really, like a full hefty bag. Up, out, boom. Amanda, you know. Oh, I do. A kindred spirit. I think so, Buck.
Then Amanda. Amanda, you'll understand why I... why I've come to the conclusion it's time old Buck tried something different. Different? Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Like a hermaphrodite? No, no. No, something, uh, you know, something totally different. A, uh, a woman. A woman? A woman. Buck. Buck, think about this seriously. I, I mean, a woman after all these years. Well, of course, the idea grosses me out, Amanda. Oh, I can but, imagine. Uh, but I've been watching women, and uh, women are different from men. Duh. No, really, Amanda, they are. They're, they're, they're different in the way they treat you. Like, uh, like you can talk to a woman and she'll talk to you, you know, without putting the moves on you, without ulterior motives, oh. you know what I mean? Men are always putting the moves on you. Like we're talking now, you're not, uh, you're not seducing me. Oh, Buck. You're having a conversation, yes. right? Nothing could be further from your mind. Well, really? That's what I mean. Women are different from men. That's, uh, that's why I came in here today, Amanda. I can level with you. Oh, yes. I came in here today hoping beyond hope that who knows, I might find that, that one special woman who's perfect for me. Oh, Buck. Oh, Amanda. Oh, no, no, Buck. No, Amanda. Oh, Buck, 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 Buck. <laughs> oh, Buck, I... I really feel that I, I should be thanking you. Oh, don't thank oh, me, no, Amanda. But, but I is... am so fortunate that you came in here today. I am. And, and, and I'm so glad we had our talk. But you have opened my eyes to so many things. You really have. Well, that's our job in life, Amanda, to open each other's eyes. Well, you're a good worker, Buck. Thank you. And, well, Buck, I, I think you're right. You think I should try a woman? Oh, Buck, I do. In fact, I... Well, I think I'm going to try one, too. Thank you. No, um, uh, Amanda, uh, no, no. Uh... Category, bombs away, please. All right, now, you've chosen the category, bombs away. That's right. I'm going to be describing these things that have to do with World War II. Things that have to do with World War II? That's right. Are you ready? Well, I wasn't even born then. I got 30 seconds. Oh, I'll do my best. Okay. okay. Go. The guy with the mustache, a German oh, guy, dictator. Hitler, Hitler, it was Good. Hitler. Okay, come on, the what, what? Normandy invasion. What about it? Begins with a letter, um, uh, not a week. No, D-Day, D-Day, it was D-Day. Okay. Okay. Oh, hurry up, um, um, The what? other dictator, Who? the Italian guy. Uh-huh. The fat guy, I know. you know, upside um, yeah, down. Yeah, the Mussolini! Desert Fox. Desert Fox. Yes, I know. Uh, uh, Field Marshal. Yes, I, um, uh, James Mason in the movie. I know, I love the movie. It was great. I'm blank. I'm blank. Just pass it, pass it. Go on, go on. The what? end of the war. What, right? Two letters. Uh, VJ Day. It was VJ Very Day. good. Okay, Field you got Marshall that. Field Marshal Rommel. Yeah, okay, oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, the oh, ones oh, they oh. dropped the bomb on. Hiroshima! No, what's the name of the people? Oh, Japanese. You Japanese. got it. And <laughs> the general, uh-huh. he became president. Uh-huh. Uh, the bald guy yes, with a smile. Yes, I know, I know. White. Uh, uh, Mamie. Matt Stevenson, the other Bangs. 50. Uh, you remember uh, this guy. 20 guys an hour. You got it. I got it? You got them all. Oh. Congratulations, and you've got the job. Columbia University is proud to welcome you to its faculty, Miss...
mammogram for Mrs. Ackman. Mammogram? Mrs. Ekman? Yes? Your loving husband, John. Thank you. We're going to do an improvisation now. And for this, we need from you a slogan or a quote or a motto, any, any old saying, any group of words that's, that's generally known by most of us. Let your fingers do the walking. Easy, easy come, come, easy go, go and, and what? Let your fingers do the walking. And let your fingers do the walking. Oh, okay. Easy come, easy go. And let your fingers do the walking. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to take these two phrases Easy come, easy go, and let your fingers do the walking. And Suzanne is going to improvise a song using these two phrases. I'm going to what? Improvise a song using these two phrases. It's, almost, it's, it's beyond belief what she's going to do. It is. She's going to use one of these phrases as the opening line of the song and the other phrase as the closing line of the song. It's almost impossible to I do. I bet. I'm really looking forward to this. Well, I was thinking, Susan, uh, that you, you, there should be some kind of musical part of the show, and uh, you're real good at that, so. Oh, thank you. Good well, luck. I'm going to go ruminate on this one for a minute. I'll be back. Okay. I'll get you, Monty. <laughs> It'll be fine, Susan. It'll be fine. Easy come, easy go, and let your fingers do the walking. While Suzanne is pondering those two phrases, what we're going to do is we're all going to sneak out and leave. <laughs> Go see Hollywood Squares around the corner. And, uh, no, actually, we're not. What, we're, what I have to do is accompany Suzanne during her song. And uh, unfortunately, we don't use any props except our two chairs, and they're not, they haven't been tuned lately. So I'm going to accompany Suzanne on an imaginary musical instrument, on an imaginary piano. And we're all going to create that piano right now in our minds. What do you say, hey? <laughs> so everyone, think piano. Think piano. It doesn't matter what kind. It can be a grand, upright, spin it. Well, don't think spin it, as long as we're creating it. Go for a grand or an upright. Think piano. Now, if we can save Tinkerbell, creating a piano should be a cinch, right? So everyone, think <laughs> piano. Send those piano waves wafting toward the stage, all right? Is everyone thinking piano? Is everyone concentrating? I'm not a mystic. This is not a trick. But if everyone does it, now if anyone doesn't do it, it won't happen. <laughs> so everyone do it. Think piano. Is everyone thinking? Is it happening? Can you feel the vibes? Can you feel it happening? Can you feel the magic? Keep working. Keep going. Think. I can feel it. Not bad. Oh, nice. Very nice. Someone wasn't thinking piano bench, however, so we're all going to have to start over and think. Uh... Never mind. Suzanne has one. Lucky us. We now have a real piano bench, an imaginary piano, and the phrase is, let your fingers do the walking, and easy come, easy go. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, we better do the blues. I'm feeling that way now. Okay. Ooh. y'all to my group. Thunder Thumbs Monteith. <laughs> Gonna do a little bit of the blues for you now. And it goes a little something like this. Easy come, easy go. That's the name of my book. Yeah. 
Listen, one thing that's crazy, now get out your pencils, this Japanese cook don't use no utensils, so everybody get your walk and put it out. Your turn. <clears throat> I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> because everyone's uh, probably already been thinking of quotes and mottos and slogans. Could I have a book or a movie title, please? Equus. Equus. Oh, Equus. Okay, Equus, could I, um... I thought this was a different crowd. Could I have another book then? I'll, I'll use Equus uh, as, a, as a play title. Hmm? Mommy, Dearest. Mommy Dearest. I don't know. Mommy Dearest, okay, um, Equus, Mommy Dearest, and they shoot horses, don't they? Well, that's, that's all I need, actually. That's, that's more than enough. I'm now going to do a song that um, involves Equus, Mommy Dearest, and they shoot horses, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they can edit all this. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> but if horses don't use gasoline and horses don't eat hay, <laughs> they should be nicer. No, they shoot horses, don't they? <laughs> But I went down to the movie show and I saw a play called Bambi. I said, look at all those deers in there. They all look so happy. They're all so happy. Even so, they can't spend their money. They got a couple of does. So tell me, Mommy. Why is Bambi always so smiling? She said to me, Sonny, Sonny, stop being such a children. She said, it's not Bambi that's happy, it's his mother took care of him. Bambi got into hurry 
Krishna. <laughs> but Bambi's mother feels the best. Cause Bambi's in Hare Krishna. And mommy, dear, est. <laughs> The moment I walked into the room, my eyes went directly to you. You know, I've, I've never felt this way before. Neither have I. It's, it's a mixture of ecstasy and, and relief. Ecstasy at having found you, and relief at finally having done so. Exactly. You know, I feel as if a great weight has been lifted from me. The weight of constantly searching through endless parties, staring into vacant eyes. Why, you're taking the very thoughts right out of my head. May I continue? Please do. Searching through empty faces on the streets. Through empty streets in empty towns. Through empty towns in empty countrysides. Through empty countrysides in an empty universe. Until I found... You. you. Ooh. You do love Stravinsky. Why, why, I adore Stravinsky. How could you have possibly known? It's in your eyes. Amazing. No, not really. We're meant for each other. Might I have a look? Please do. Let me see. You like haiku. Oh, sweet bird of light, fly to the eyes of my beloved and give sight. Exquisite. Yes. You also love Brussels in the spring. Uh-huh. And Balanchine ballets. And Strindberg plays. And rainy days. And moonlit bays. And one horse chaise. And blank verse. Yes. <gasps> oh, I never dreamed I could have so much in common with a person. It's as if we, we'd met before. Oh, no. No. No, I would remember you. And I, you. <laughs> Well, shall we get on with it? With what? With life, with love, with each other. Oh, I... I don't know. It's all so sudden, really. No, no, no my head is spinning and, and my heart... Listen. boom pity boom pity lob dob smoosh What? <laughs> Why, it's pounding. I hear it. And this... There's really something I... I must tell you about myself. No, no, tell me nothing. Nothing could matter, not after tonight. Well, you see, I... I've been married before. No matter. So have I. No, to a wonderful, wonderful person. The same with me. No, but we didn't work out. Neither did we. No, for a very good reason. Same story. But I do feel more hopeful now about the future because, well, since then, everything has changed. Yes. Yes, for me too. No, you see, I mean everything. No, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, God. Oh, God, it, it pains me to have to tell you this. I mean, the thought that I could lose you now. Well, it, it brings a great sadness to my heart. Well, you know, I, I too have something I should confess. Do you? Yes, but the thought that I might lose you brings a great heaviness to my brow. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what is this deep, dark secret? Well, you see, I... It's really funny, really. I... Quite simply, I... 
I can't tell you. Yes, no. you must. No, I'll lose you. You won't lose me. No, you won't respect me. I know you won't. Yeah, I will. No, you won't. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. All right. All right. You first. No way, Jose. Please. I couldn't. Yes, you do, I will. Mine's gospel. Oh, I couldn't be. Yes, it is. Please. No. Please. No. Please. Maybe. Maybe. Together. Together. Oh, that would be so much simpler. Yes. All right, then. All right, then. Deep, dark, secret time. Be brave. Be gentle. I will. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. I had a sex change. <laughs> Operation. You mean, you used to be a man? Yes. Uh -huh. Isn't you a woman? Yes. Yes, and now I feel whole and complete. Me too. You know, my former husband could never understand oh, that. Nor my former wife. I had the operation shortly after leaving her. I had mine after leaving my husband. Really, really? Where did you have it? Where? Yes. Stockholm, Sweden. Moi aussi. No. Yes. Where? Oh, well, you see, we were living there at the time. So were we. On Fjord Street. So were we. Apartment 34. So were we. <laughs> Cecily? Cedric! Yes. Oh, Cedric! Oh, oh, my sweetness, I've, I've missed you so. Oh, darling, my life has been empty without you. But it, it shan't be anymore, shall it? No. Because here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Things have a way of working out so well. This is the control tower at LaGuardia Airport. Oh, thank God. What flight number is this, please? Uh, it's flight 1822. 1822? Mm -hmm. From Cincinnati? Mm -hmm. Good to hear from you. Oh. oh, we've got a big problem. You've got a problem? Yes. What's the nature of your problem? Our pilot's dead. Your pilot's dead? Yes. Is this the co-pilot? No. No, when the pilot... <laughs> is this Appalachian Airlines? Yes, yes it is. Yes. Please, I don't know what to do. I'm just beside myself. I really am. All right, who am I speaking to, please? Oh, well, this is your stewardess, Cindy, speaking. Please help me. All right, Cindy, now don't panic. I'll try not to. Is there anyone there who can fly the airplane? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't want to ask. It might make the passengers nervous. They're on Appalachian. They're already nervous. <laughs> Cindy. What? Can you fly an airplane? No, no, I can't fly a plane. Do you drive an automobile? No, I, I flunked my test every time I took it. Do you own a hair blow dryer? Yes, yes, I do. All right, it's similar to that. Oh, okay, good. All right. Let's begin by familiarizing you with the instrument panel. Oh. You'll find the instrument panel approximately where you find the dashboard on a car. Found it. 
Congratulations. Oh, wait a minute, wait, there are just too many gadgets. Well, it's mostly cigarette lighters. Oh, okay, good, good. Now, directly in front of you, you should see kind of a half steering wheel looking thing. Oh, yes, yes, it is directly in front of me. Ah, uh, the co-pilot left that, did he? Uh -huh. Good, that's your steering mechanism. That's how you steer the craft. All right. To the right of that is kind of a lever with a knob on top. Oh, yes, yes, I see it. Oh, boy, you know your cockpits. Uh-huh. <laughs> Now, that's your automatic pilot. Oh, good. Don't touch that, whatever you do. I touched it. Oh, no. I touched it and I moved it. Oh, God. That means I'm going to die, doesn't it? Not necessarily. It does. That so. means we're all going to die. No, it doesn't mean that. Means that means I'm going to go down with a bunch of strangers I don't even know, let alone like. That's it, isn't it? Cindy, don't start <laughs> thinking that way. Please, Cindy, please, you're I okay. can't die. I can't. I, I'm just a stewardess on this crummy mountain airline. I never made it to Pan Am or anything. Cindy. Cindy, keep it together. No, we're we're depending. We Cindy, are. We're all Cindy, gonna die. Cindy. It's all my fault. No, I. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Cindy. Yes. Stop saying we're gonna die. All right. We're not gonna die. All right. At least I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Cindy, what? we're going to have you land the airplane. I can't land an airplane. Yes, you can. Oh, no, I can't. Have you seen any Doris Day movies? Oh. Well, I've, I've seen them all. Then you know this can be done. I'm sorry. I forgot. Now, now, we'll talk you down. All right. It'll be okay. Okay. Now, directly beneath your steering mechanism, there's a little switch that says landing gear. Well, I see it. Flick that to down. Okay. Have you done that? Uh-huh. Do you feel kind of a rumbling under your seat? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, is it? No. All right, your wheels should be coming down. Oh, they're on their way. <laughs> oh, 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 we can see you now. You can see me? We can see you. You can really see me? We have visual contact. Okay, just tell me what to do. Point your plane in some other direction. <laughs> Do you see that uh, tower coming toward you with all the windows around? Rapidly, it? yes, That's I do. That's the control tower, oh, Cindy. That's what me. Oh, God, we're going to die. We're going to die. Die, won't die. Just tell me what to do. Pull your steering mechanism back toward you. Just a straight... Whoa! <laughs> Very good, Cindy. You got some tire tracks on the windows. <laughs> Cindy, you're doing a perfect loop. Press your steering mechanism forward, and the plane will come out of the loop. Good. Very good. Hey, okay. Do you see the string of blue lights ahead of you? Uh, Roger. That's the landing field. That's where we're going to set her down. No sweat. Your airspeed's good. Check. Altitude, good. Check. Slowly bring your nose down. Check. <laughs> Slowly bring your nose down. Ma'am. Bring your nose down, Cindy. It's down as far as it'll go. The nose of the airplane. Oh, what about press the press forward, forward on your. That's <laughs> good. Holy okay, so okay. Fast. I'll bring your nose up fast. <laughs> Damn potholes! Oh. oh my god, I did it. I really did it. I am Doris Day. <laughs> 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 Cindy! What? Cindy, it's me, Chuck, from the control tower. Chuck, Chuck, we did it! Cindy, you did it, you're on the ground. <laughs> Unfortunately, Cindy, you're fired. What? Well, I just came back through the rest of the plane. You hadn't put on the no smoking sign. Oh, People I... have cigarette butts put out in their foreheads. Oh, I didn't tell them to fasten their seat belts. Everybody's in first class. Hey, <laughs> We're going to 
do an improvisation now. And for this, we need from you a, uh, a setting for a scene. Any place a scene could take place. Oh, well, now, we don't need the whole plot, but we could use... Uh, we could use the setting of a roach motel. Okay, okay, a roach motel. All right. We also need um, a sentence. Now, it doesn't have to be a jail term. People give us that sometimes. And it doesn't have to be a well-known phrase or slogan. It could be something you make up now, something someone might have said to you today. I love you. I love you. Did you make that up now? <laughs> That's real good. Okay, I love you, okay? Okay. Well, Monty and I are going to present a scene that will take place in a roach motel. <laughs> the opening line of the scene will be, I love you. From then on, uh, your guess is as good as ours, because what we'll be doing is freezing our own action and asking you questions, asking you to help supply a direction to the scene. So in essence, you'll be helping us write this one. And it's real important that you shout things out nice and clear so everyone can hear. And we'll take the first thing that we hear, so you don't have to keep shouting once we get the first thing, OK? So we take you now to a roach motel. Mm -hmm. And the opening line, I love you. I love you. You love me. That's why I built this giant roach motel. You did it so I'd never leave the room. That's it, isn't it? I've got you now. You're mine. You put all this glue all over our new shag carpeting, though. I got it on the walls, too. And I... above, in case any real roaches came in. Sweetheart, though, how can I move in here? I, I don't love you moving, darling. I love you the way you are. I see. I don't want you to change. I don't want you to move out and leave me like... like she did. Like who did? Like who? Who left me? Rita Hayworth. My mother, Rita. That cat. That's the one. Well, it was a good thing she left you. Well, you'll never leave me. You'll never leave me alone. I'll, I'll be with you forever now. You know, this is just so mind-boggling. I mean, when you told me that I should marry you, that I'd grow on you, pretty soon I'd be stuck on you. I didn't know that this is what you meant. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to perform the supreme sacrifice. I'm going to join you. <laughs> now it's you and me forever, darling. It is. We're stuck here. We are. We may as well make the best of it. You may as well love me. Oh. <laughs> Don't you know I can't love you, really? Of course you can. No, I can't. Oh, you're, you're listening to your silly feelings. Ignore them. How can I ignore my silly feelings when they're the only feelings I know? Stick with me. I'll give you new feelings. How can I do anything but stick with you? Look. You can do like I do. What do you do? Use four and one. <laughs> I'm not going to leave you. You're the one who's going to leave me. I promise you I will not leave you. Do you promise? Do you know, if, if you give me the four-in-one so I can walk freely through our motel, you know what I'll do, honey? No. What? What? Yeah. Hit him? I know it's kind of S&M and crazy of me, but... I'll... Well, I'll flatten you, hon. Doesn't matter. I've got four-in-one on my back, too. Oh, God. All right, here. Here, take the oil as, as long as you promise to hit me. Oh, I will. Oh, thank... Oh, much better. Oh, one for good luck. Oh, oh yeah. Ready? Well, you can, yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't put oil on my... on my neck. I'm sorry. It's okay. <gasps> Do you know what I just did to your neck? Uh, well, no, I, I don't... I don't believe this. What... what did she just do to my neck? <laughs> Give me a hickey. Whoa, well, these knuckles have more suction than I thought.
X-rated photo mate, make your own X-rated photos, no need to feel crummy getting chummy with our dummy, Insert four quarters, press red button, dummy will inflate. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay, press red button there. You get four photographs. Use your imagination. Kids fall asleep, man? Uh, the kids nodded right out. Oh, man. far out, far out, man. You know, like I noticed them crashing during Charlie's Angels, you know? Well, that show is better than Downs, man. <laughs> dig it, dig it. Eee, 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 eee. Hey, Snooze, do we got something to eat? I am El Famishioed. Oh, far out, Thor. Oh, man, I am so glad you got the munchies, man. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, because like I tried out a new recipe today. Oh, yeah? Man, I could really dig it if you could dig it. Can you dig it? I could dig it. Far out, man. Far out. Just take a second, okay? Right. I just have to pop it in the microwave. Hot flash, Thor! Oh, wow, man! Hot flash, man! What? No, I mean, like, cut my head off and roll it down the street for not telling you this sooner, man. What? Oh, wow, man. What? I... I... had a catharsis in the A&P today, man. Oh, wow. You just saw your gyno. Oh, not that kind, man. No, no, man. No, no, man. No, this was a good kind of catharsis, man. Oh, yeah? Okay, picture this, okay? Right. Like me and my little arm basket, you know? Uh-huh. Like we're doing the usual. I'm just boogieing down the household goods aisle, you know, man? Oh, right, yeah. I'm spacing out on the colors and the products, uh -huh. you know? Oh, wow, uh -huh. wow. Airwick has twins. You pop them apart and they start stinking immediately, man. It's too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, this was far up, man. I took the crystal Santa flush, uh -huh. I opened it up and spit in it, and it foamed all over the place, man. <laughs> what a visual, man. It was too much, you know? Hey, 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 but like I bought it, though, because I'm cool that way, you know. All right, be cool. Don't be a tool. Dig it, dig it. Really, really. Anyway, anyway, like I am digressing from the thrust of this conversation, man. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> oh, what happened? Guess. Yes. Twelve. <laughs> Blue. Madagascar. No, man, no, it's a who, man. I want you to guess who came around the corner, man. Mr. Whipple. <laughs> Thor, I said it.
it was a good catharsis, man. Right, and pain. Show no, man, no, man, no. You're never gonna, I'm gonna lay it on you, man. But like, you'd best hold on to your seat, because I know you will lose it when I tell you. No. Yes. Really? Are you ready? Who was it? Pico and Crystal! Pico? Yes. Pico, really? Yes. My Pico? Yes. I knew you would lose it, man. I did. My best friend in the world. Really? Oh, wow, where has he been? Well, Madagascar man? for one man, so you're no close. Kidding. Yeah, really, really. Uh, how is Pico? Oh, I, can't, I haven't seen him in six years, man. No, six, man, count him, six. That's longer than I thought. Yeah, really, really. How, is, how, is the, how is Pico? Wow. Pico is still so mellow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, he still has that kind of like, you know, like cosmic Cheshire cat grin of his, you right, know? Yeah. Right, right. Uh, did his eyelids ever grow back? Oh, one of them did. One of them did. He looks great, man. He really does, man. Dynamo. Yeah. And he's still together with Crystal. Yeah, he really, I can't man. believe it. Yeah, really. Wow. How is Crystal? I mean, like... Like, it really brought me down, man. Oh, no. I mean, it was like the ultimate bummer, Thor. Oh, wow. It was. I mean, Crystal and I were tight, right? Right. Like, when we all lived in the geodesic together, I didn't know whether to live with you or her, right? Right. 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 Well, she has changed, man. Changed? Yeah. How? 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 Well, first of all, first of all, it is no longer Crystal. It's Chris. I mean, what kind of freaky name is Chris? <laughs> Sounds like a tennis player. Hey, hey, dig him in, dig it. She was dressed like one of them rich sports people, too, man. No. Are you ready for this, man? I don't know. Well, she was wearing a silver fox coat. <laughs> silver fox? Really? What really? a bogus thing to do. Hey, dig it. Although, man, I got into it, man. It had to be one of the most gorgeous pieces of human adornment I have ever seen in this life, man. Oh, yeah, but what is the fox wearing? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're saying, man. Hey, I know that, man, really. Poor naked little fox. Stop it, man. You don't need to do that. Running through the woods with no coat on. Stop it, man. Stop it. Probably has a vinyl jacket now. Ew, man. Stop it, man. Yeah. Hey, look at that vinyl fox, Stop man. Stop it, man. I want to hear it, man. It's your friend. Man. Well, you'll dig it then. You'll dig what I did, man. What did you do? I went up to her and I went, Hey, Chris, do you eat fox? Er, uh, bingo, hey, no, I don't no. die. Whoa, man, burnt my head on the joint. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. It's still going. Oh, out of sight. <laughs> Do you eat it, huh? Right, well, that's where it's at. Hey. I mean, if you use the inside of the animal, then you can adorn your body with the outside. I mean, like, that is what we've always believed, man. Hey. If you eat it, you can wear it. <laughs> I mean, like, leave it to you, Thor. Sometimes, man, you are just so succinct, you know? Like, you are so deep, Jacques Cousteau would best watch out, man. You know what I mean? Whoa, Thor, lay that on me again, man. What? Well, you just said, man, about eating it, you know? Oh, wow, right. Oh, that's heavy, it man. Is, like, man. And it's really? true. Hey, really? Words to live by, yeah. man. Oh, oh, you'll dig. I went up to her. I said, hey, Crystal, come on, really? you know? I mean, like Thor, the kids, me. We all wear skins, you right, know? Right. We wear suede, yeah. we wear leathers. Well, like, we eat leather. We eat meat. It's the fucking microwave that makes it taste like leather. It is oh, not microwave. Oh, 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 hey, if you can no, you cook your own munchies from now on, man, because that is like where it is. I do not serve fried moccasin to my family, man. No, right. No, right. No, 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 that's right. That's where whoa. I'm coming from. No, that's... Whoa, whoa. That's cool, man. Like, why don't you just acupuncture my heart, man? Hey, come on, snooze. Hey, come lighten up. Me lighten up. Hey. I am not the gang of four. Come much, on, man. <laughs> hey, snooze. You remember this? I'm sorry, man. I forgot my roots. <laughs> oh, anyway. 
Crystal is so ecologically uncool, I could barf, you know? Yeah. Yeah, she will be busted by the karma police. <laughs> yeah, she will, you know, and well, she should. Oh, my dinger's donging. Well, anyway, I am just so proud that our kids poopy and kinky. You know, like, they can look up at us and they can say, my folks are right on. Right on. And dig it, man, we are, because, like, we got principles and we stick by them, you know? Right, right. Really. Hey, Thor? Yeah? What was that you said again, man? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. If you eat it, you can wear it. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have that tattooed on the two of them tomorrow, man. You think it'll fit? Thor, I'm talking about the kids. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, well, we got loads of room on the kids. Hey, I know that. <laughs> hey, you want fingers or chapsticks? Uh, fingers. Okay, watch out. It's hot in the middle. It's cool. Hey. Hey. This is good. You really dig it, Thor? I dig it. You really? I mean, you really like it? Yeah. I mean, like you would like to see it on the weekly menu? Yeah. What is it? Chinchilla crepes. <laughs> Thor, I bought the most far out coat today, man. You wouldn't have Is this your first time at the psychiatrist? Yeah, it's my first time. You know, I'm really kind of nervous about it. Yeah, me too. You know, I never thought that I would need a psychiatrist. You know, I, I thought they were only for very sick people. My friends told me I should come. Really? Yeah. So did mine. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, they said they'd come over to my house and... And sometimes a totally different personality would answer the door. A schizo. Well, that's what they said, a schizophrenic. Schizophrenic, yeah, that's what they say about me. Go on. Really? Oh, you seem perfectly healthy to me. Well, you don't seem to have any trouble relating to me. Well, you know, I never thought I had any trouble. Seems silly to spend all this money on a psychiatrist when uh, we obviously don't have trouble relating to people. Really, you know, this is going to cost me a whole week's worth of tips. You know, we could go out and talk to each other and accomplish the same thing and save an awful lot of money. You really think so? Sure. Well, what do we need him for? Really? Really. Come on. Let's split. Okay, let's. Okay, let's. <laughs> Mickey Langevin? Yes? Mickey, I'm ready to see you now. All right, doctor. I'm coming. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Whoops. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. Good. Ah. Well, hello, Leonard. Julia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you got stuck critiquing this movie tonight, too. Well, you don't think I paid to get into you, darling. Do you ever, dearest? <laughs> no, not for anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Leonard, mm -hmm. I really am sick inside. I know, darling. Oh, no, dear, no, I'm not talking about that. No, no, I'm talking about what's becoming of cinema these days. Uh, it's all porno films, let's face it. It's all porno. Exactly. It's all either G or X rated. Mm, it's all family films or how to make family films. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I, I may I use that, darling? Take it, it's yours. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know, dear, it's so true. Of course it's true, we said it. Yes. Oh, 
Leonard, where are the cinematic greats? I don't know. I have the foggiest idea where they are. Really, you know, this type of film would lend itself so well to, well, say, a Jean Renoir, mm. you know, or cinema verite. There's very little verite anymore. Verite of you to say. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> really, darling, all these films tend to do. Are they just pulverize our viscera, yet leave our minds totally unchallenged? That was poetry, darling. Did you like it? I did love you really that. Know? Where did that come from? Well, I slept with Roger's last night. Oh. <laughs> it becomes you. Oh, little, thank right? you, darling. Thank oh. oh. Here we go. Mm. I've got my review half written already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is a novel opening. Credits. Mm. <laughs> well, at least it's in color. Oh, you can tell the people from the furniture in this one. Uh, yes. <laughs> I've never heard of any of these people. And you probably never will again. <laughs> Not outside of a court of law, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <gasps> Same opening, week after week. I know, I know. Here comes the milk truck. <laughs> here comes the stud. <laughs> and look who's putting out her empties. Oh, God, it's so predictable. <laughs> Let us not be too quick to judge. Why not, darling? Why? Because if you look up there, there is believability running rampant on that screen. I don't want to believe it. Darling, darling, now be kind. Now, he looks like a milkman. He does. Well, he shaves above the ears. I'll give him well, that. Well, white walls. But... Nice touch. I like it. And she. She looks like a housewife. Well, darling, thousands of women and lots of men look like housewives. Well, I'm that is what I am saying, Leonard. They're she so has hard. studied it and captured it, mm. you know? And she's really rather attractive in a very canasta club sort of way, you know? She looks good in rollers. Well, you see... <laughs> they don't waste any time, do they? Really, really. <laughs> she could have at least moved the welcome mat. <laughs> Yeah, I bet those bristles hurt. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, they'll probably be playing Connect the Dots in the next scene. <laughs> <laughs> or it'll say welcome on her back backwards. <laughs> <laughs> There's any continuity in this piece of trash. Really? <laughs> Now, I've never seen that done before. It's gripping. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, Leonard, oh. Leonard, will you look at the split screen? Yes, I love that. Oh. Which one are you watching, darling? Both, dear, both. Well, I can't do that. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Leonard, Leonard, will you look at the cameraman's technique? Oh, is that what that is? Oh, it is indeed. What's that, uh, gloopy oh, stuff? Oh, that's Vaseline around the edge of the lens. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. It puts you in the center of the oh, action. Oh, yes, it puts you there, but yet it's diffused. Oh. oh, I don't know. I do. Oh. Mm. Oh, 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 catch the panning technique. I am, I am, you know, he's shooting from the hip. Obviously. Oh, it works so pan, well. Oh. Pan, oh. pan, oh. Cogent. pan, mm. catch the depth of field. I am, I am, it's a visual tour de force. It Keep panning. Oh. Valid, oh. valid, oh. very valid. Oh, yes. Good. Ooh. Oh, oh, good, ah. good, oh. go, go. Do it, go. mama. Go. <laughs> Go, mm. go, yes. go, go, now, 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 wait, now, wait, now, wait, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, you must. I can't, you must. I can't, you must. baseball, oh. baseball, oh. baseball, oh.
Oh, <laughs> after week. They always begin so powerfully and then they kind of peter off at the end. I know, I know, no thrust. Why, why don't we just leave? All right, let's go somewhere else. All right. Oh, Leonard, Leonard, wait. Here comes the donkey. <laughs> One more scene, and this will be an improvisation. And for this, we need from you um, another setting for a scene. Radio City Music Hall. Radio City Music Hall. Okay. Okay. We also need, and it doesn't have to have anything, not that it would, to do with the, the setting. We need a pet peeve someone might have. Uh, something that would really irk them if it were to happen or someone else were to do it. Smoking. Smoking? Okay, and what was that I heard? Hey, toilets. Hey, toilets? Smoking. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and we also need a, uh, uh, a, a thing or an object. A Coke spoon. A Coke, a Coke spoon. spoon. Okay. You after the taping. And we also need um, an occupation. A pirate. A pirate. Okay, good. Okay. And now what we need are all various kinds of media styles. Bill Russell, our assistant, who's standing in the back there, will be writing them down because we need quite a few. Uh, we'll break them into categories, the first category being television styles. Not specific shows on TV, but the kinds of shows, the types of things that are on television. Variety. Sitcom? A variety show. A what? Jig a jiggly? Western. A western? And soap? Documentary. The Animal, news. documentary, and what I see lips moving, but I can't hear you. And now she's just sitting, smiling at me. <laughs> what? Cartoons. Soap opera. Oh, okay. A game show. Sci-fi. A sermonette. And a hospital drama. Okay, well, well that is, because we also need kinds of films, or types of movies, or film directors. Woody Allen. A Woody, Woody Allen, Allen film. Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Fellini. Fellini. Friedkin. Peck and Paul. Bert Mueller. Visconti. Frank Capra. Frank Capra. Truffaut. Truffaut. Any more kinds of films, types of movies? Bergman. Bergman. John Ford. A John, John Ford. Ford. Fellini. Fellini. Any more kinds of movies, yeah, types, types of, of movies? Western. A Western. Horror. Horror. Uh, John Huston. Silent film. Silent film. Comedy. Porno. Comedy, porno, and mystery. a mystery and a musical. And Walt Disney. Well, okay. that's, that's super. That's super. That's really it is you. because we have a third and final category. And that would be um, different styles of theater and playwrights from the classical to the modern era. Williams and Ibsen. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Beckett and Sheridan. Brecht. Brecht. Chekhov. Shepard. Yes. Simon. Stop it. Albie. And what? Stoppard. Stoppard. Kabuki. Ibsen, <laughs> Aeschylus, Theater in the Round. Yeah, Mime. any more kinds of films? Mime. Or, or kinds of theater? A street theater? Street theater, guerrilla theater? Burlesque. Yeah. Burlesque theater and theater in the Round. Well, that's oh, that's plenty. That is and who? Uh, a Moss Heart? And a Moscow Art Club. Oh, Moscow Art. Okay, oh, Moscow Art. Of course. Okay, Moss okay. Heart, Moscow Art, same thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess. <laughs> okay, that's Okay, quite. that is. That's great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good, Good night. night. <laughs> We were just kidding. <laughs> Actually, what we're going to do is much worse. <laughs> we're going to present a scene that will take place at Radio City Music Hall. It will have to do with the problem of smoking, the object of... A Coke spoon? A Coke spoon, and the occupation of a pirate. In this scene about a pirate, a Coke spoon, smoking, and Radio City Music Hall will be influenced by these different media styles, as Bill Russell calls them out during the course of the scene. So we take you now to Radio City Music Hall. And one and 
been hard up until now. If I could do it any other way, I wouldn't. It's, it's just that I've had a hard life, too. I, I wasn't always a pirate, you know. You weren't. I used to be married and live right here in this town. You did? Yes. I was a doctor. <laughs> Among other things, yes. Well, I guess now that you have to wear a patch, you can't be a surgeon anymore. Freeze. A horror film. What's under that terrible, terrible patch? Wouldn't you like to know? I don't know if I'd like to or not. Come and look at it. Hmm? Come and let you see it. No one else has ever seen what's under my patch. Ah! Ah, it's the Easter pageant! <laughs> Please. I got that a month ago. Get back! Get back! Get back! I'm not coming towards you. Oh! Oh! Now I will. No! Back! Please. A movie by Truffaut. Elle aimait les collets petits sweats et met les hooks. Please, Aeschylus. Oh, you poor mortal, that thou wouldst stay hook have on the end of thy hand. Aye, and yet a hook that doth my mortal problems ease. Doth in the end a little abrasion have that in it can thou put powders that would in thy nose go and put me to Olympus? Thou dost tell me that a spoon of coke be used that, hey? Freeze. Theater in the round. Yeah, but you gotta be real careful with your nostrils. I bet. I can see by looking at you that you're a good man. But I'm a bad pirate. Oh, really? And why? Because I've sailed this whole world over. I've seen many beautiful damsels in distress, and yet I've never been in love. You know, I too have never been in love. Come, here, put that hook in your that hook in my hand. All right. All right, I will. Please. Tennessee Williams. Look, I ain't got time for women. Here, yeah. you get in this gunny sack. I'm taking you on board ship. Well, I might just come willingly if you... Y'all give me some of that white powder. Hey, now. I ain't got much of this left. Well, that's all right. My daddy owns this whole music hall, and... And I'm sure he would give us some money to get some more. Is your daddy Mr. Center? 
<laughs> Why, yes, he is. Then this whole place is named after him. Yes, it is. Your daddy's a real big man. Yes, he's the biggest. And if I tell him that some nasty old dirty pirate didn't treat his little daughter nice. I'm not old. But you are nasty. And I'm dirty. I know, and you're dirty, and I love and you. And I love you. I need a cigarette. You're quick. I know. Please. Vert Mueller. Maratondo Procende Faratucci, eh? Maratondo Procende Farafumi Perecende, eh? Eh, no, Pandoce no, perché... No, Pandoce è pro, tende a fare tondo prote. Eh, prote, no, Pandoce, eh, Pandoce, eh, Pandoce, eh, Pandoce, eh, Pandoce. Tondo pro, flint, flint, eh, flint, Pandoce, è fascista o no, Pandoce? No, fascista, io, racchetto, e sta prende, Pandoce. Eh, prende, lo prendo, eh, prende, eh, Pandoce, eh, prende, eh, Pandoce, eh, Pandoce, Freeze, sermonette. I hope your lips are healed, sister. They're healed. Freeze, Bertolt Brecht. Will this cigarette ever be lit? <laughs> ask not me. Why not ask the rich people? They have the matches. <laughs> I am but a pirate. You are a pirate, but you are a proletariat pirate. I, I, I am. When I did not choose to be a pirate when I was young, when I was young, I was happy. And then as I grew older, I grew sadder. Now I'm as old as I've ever been. <laughs> and as sad as I've ever been. I see. You're lucky you can do that. Do you know, I think it is up to the state to make sure that all of us have matches. The state should supply the booty. The song of the state should supply the booty. <laughs> Before I was a pirate lad, I was good, I wasn't bad. I always worked and did my duty, but no one ever gave me booty. Porno film. I'll give you booty. <laughs> you would. Most people don't. Most people don't like Captain Lust. That's all right. Because you light up my life, I hope. I'll light your fire. Come on, baby. Breeze, a musical. Gosh, golly, that tastes good. You know, it smells terrible. You know, it really smells awful. I mean, really awful. It's like it gets into your face and, and down into your lungs, and it, it just drives me crazy. You mean you don't like it when I smoke? I hate it. Well, hey, why don't you just tell me all about it? <laughs> Okay. When she uh, lights up her smoke, I could have killed her. At least she could have smoked a filled her. But she smokes and blows it in my face. I wish that I could move to some other place. Please. <laughs> Sam Peckinpah. You want me to put this out? <laughs> 
Okay, stranger, I'll just have to put it out in your good eye. Ah! Then I'm going to take that elastic patch and I'm going to scream. Ingmar Bergman. Give me the whiskey herb. The whiskey herb, a fancy Martin Bensky herb. This is cheap, 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 cheap. This is cheap. Stitch. Give me the whiskey herb. Stitch your turn. Miss Fulton Hook. It's one and one. Give it a whiskey head, a fancy motor, bend this cover. Freeze. Freeze. Street theater. Sure, we need drugs to make us happy in this society. We need drugs and we need to poison our lungs with cigarettes. I mean, if this was a healthy civilization, we wouldn't need cigarettes, we wouldn't need cocaine, we, and wouldn't... we wouldn't need women to dress up like this and kick their legs to entertain us. Uh, entertainment, that's the opiate of the masses. Look, look, it's not my fault. I didn't make any of this. I don't make Rockefeller Center possible. I don't give money. I haven't helped out. Well, then who does? <laughs> you do! Shakespeare. Good, my lord. Hey. That did the scream of Primal be. Hey. I am yet no good doth it do, for the groundlings do not listen. My lady, I am. I am going to this thing for thee do. Yea, my lord. I am going to set thee free. Thou wouldst me free set. <laughs> when yea, all the other rockets be locked up. Nay, my lady, I am turning them all free. But prithee, why, pirate? Because I cannot have and be happy with something that I do by false take when I could perhaps mayhap have it by not false but by love. By my lord, well put. Nay, my lady. My lady, if thou wouldst hear me out, though I a pirate be, I am of no good lord, no good eh, be. <laughs> Still yet, my lady, I do love thee. Thou me lovest? I thee I lovest. But my lord, thou didst before, ye sing a little ditty that I didst thee make sick, for I do the cigarettes, yea, in my mouth put. I, but know you, thy lady, if thou dost in the stern of the boat stay, then thou canst blow thy smoke off the port bow. <laughs> Through the portal do it, maybe perfect rings I could blow. Aye, smoky rings. Yea, my lord. Aye, aye, and then when the men of war do come to capture us, thou couldst blow out the portholes and scare them away. Oh, my lord, the two of us together, yea, on the seven seas. Aye, my lady. Come, let us catch the wind, for the tide will not wait. Come, my lady, though I have sinned, thou shalt be my first mate. Yeah. 